Hey, welcome back to the beer room. So it's another Friday night and um, so we're going to be doing a beer review with um, KC. Or am I KC? Or am I an artificial intelligent program made to sound and look like KC? Well, I'm not because I can't afford the program or don't have the knowledge to do all that stuff as it would probably cost you a million dollars to do that. But as a YouTuber, person who likes to make videos and put them on YouTube, I don't want to go as far as say I'm a creator because I don't think I'm that good. But I do watch a lot of um, YouTube um, other channels that don't really even have anything to do with beer. Some of the things I like, true crime, I like um, paranormal stuff, I like history stuff. But last night I was watching and I came across some AI stuff and I found it really interesting. And at the same time, a little bit scary because these things can get so smart that they'll outsmart us. This is what um, some of the experts are saying, the people that know all about this shit. Uh, people like Elon Musk, who's had a lot to do with that. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Who else? There's people like Bill Gates, computer nerds, Steve Wozniak. And they all like the AI and the stuff that it can do. But they're a bit wary of how much control we give it. Because eventually they're saying that these things will get so smart and powerful that they will end up taking over the world. Which could happen. Uh, examples of other movies. Sorry, this might be a bit long-winded, this review. But um, I do like to try to mix things up and do different things instead of just coming out, cracking open a beer, talking some shit about it give it a rating and over. I do do that, but I do try to mix it up, as you know, through other videos, like um, Crikey, is that a beer? The other people that I get to come in, like Hot Barley, Gaza, Waza. Um, so I try to mix it up, so it's a bit entertaining for you. So hopefully you'll find this entertaining, or scary, or something. So, um... So yeah, on the AI, there was been a, like we've known about it. Like the robotics have been around. It's pretty much a, a robot that's controlled by a program to do things that humans do things better than humans. So Space Odyssey, Odyssey was it how the computer that was controlling the ship or helping the ship go to wherever they were fucking doing. I can't remember. Took over. Um, What's another one? Bicentennial Man. Um, robot that wanted to be human. Uh, there's a lot of movies out there where there's artificial intelligence um, in it. You Google it. So, I got it. I watched a few things and got a bit interested. So, I found a thing called Gen Craft. I'll take these off and put my beer goggles on. Gen Craft which will do an A, you put anything in and it will do an image or a video, an artificial intelligence video or photo of it. So I did that. First one I did, which you probably can look at, be looking at now, I did was, I just put in B Room 3D and this is what came up. Um, next one I put in KC's B Room and this is what came up. Uh, then I did beer and food, and this is what came up. Uh, and then I did um, in ink, the filter ink, and that's what came up. And what I was really looking for was um, I want to change my logo. So I, put, I went, I wanted to do something with like the statues of Easter Island. I don't mean no disrespect to. Um, any of the people that from Easter Island, but so I'm just drinking me home brew. Pretty awful. So I came up with two photos, which you.
probably look at that now. So this one, you sort of hold it up a stem glass on a rock, quite like that. Or there's this one where he's actually standing on the island with like a pint glass in his hand, which I I like this one the most. So um, I might put in the community um, tab on YouTube a poll if you want. Go and have a look. There's other stuff on there. And you can pick whichever one gets the most votes. Um, will do. So that's enough about the artificial intelligence. Pretty interesting stuff. So you've got nothing better to do. Look it up on YouTube. There's heaps of videos of, with, with experts telling what they think the good and bad is. There's other ones where people get um, their, their same body gets made artificial intelligent and stuff like that. Oh, it's all pretty good, but anyway, it's up to you. So let's um, get to the beer. It's another Murray's. I've still got three, I've got two after this one. So I'm trying to get through these. This is the Port Stevens Lager. 4.5%. Uh, Brewed in can in Port Stephens, and uh, that's about all it says. So it's a lager, so I'm gathering it's gonna gonna have light malts. Uh, hopefully they haven't used the Pride of Ringwood as the hop. So we're gonna use this glass. It's a Byron Bay Brewery glass that we stole from somewhere. I think this is what they call a stanger, or stanger, or stange. I think it's stanger. That's how I think you pronounce it. So, pilsners, uh, lagers, you normally know, drink it like a pilsner glass, which is similar to this, just sort of um, comes in a bit at the bottom. Or you can drink them in these straight glasses. So these are good for box and other things. But that's all I've got. So I'm going to use this. It's a bit cloudy and mist because I've had it in the freezer but anyway we're talking too much here we'll crack this one open I should have researched what this beer was all about but I didn't so but I imagine it's going to be refreshing multi flavors light in appearance probably a light body get, get that head happening yeah there's lots of carbonation going on there very light coloured amber. Yeah, I'll just take my mandatory photo. Heaps of carbonation happening there. So there's not much of a design. It sort of looks like it's the Port Stephens there. You can see the um, islands out in the heads there and that's the water swells of water so that's that head's gone yep smells pretty malty no um, sweetness or anything oh, a bit of sweetness I mean no bitterness no fruitiness I reckon it would look brilliant if it was actually held the head, but anyway, there you go, that's what she looks like. Nice and clear. So we'll give it a taste and we'll see if it's um, what standard it's up to. Yeah, very. Um, European style um, taste so I'd say they're more than likely used the European yeast the lager yeast which is the bottom fermenting yeast likes to ferment in the cooler temperatures like Europe um, yeah, so that tastes very yeasty to me Sort of a bit florally, 
a bit herby sort of herby herbaceous flavors very similar to the uh, mountain culture lager somewhere up the back here it's probably over here up the top there mountain culture lager it's got the same very similar flavoring as what that had it's a bit sort of weird taste but it's pleasant but it's a bit weird very flowery floral smells a little bit spicy so we thought we'd better get this one down before it hits winter um, even though they're fermented through winter uh, but lagers are more in the Australian climate a summer beer a spring late spring beer but it's still good early autumn beer so I'll give it a rating I've held you up long enough um, out of five out of five I'll give it a 2.2 2.2 for this um, it does it's it's very light bodied but I think after if you drink about 10 of these you'd be very heavy in the stomach just it's got that heaviness to it when it goes into your stomach to be well I imagine it would after 10 so very flowery herbaceous uh, a little bit of spicy I don't know if it's really spicy but so that's a 2.2 I'll give it a fucking send it. Why not? It's Friday. We will send it. I thought I'd ask um, the AI. There's a chat GPT, which will probably a lot of you have heard about. You just put in a question or a word, and it will give you an answer, artificial intelligent answer. So mine was... Uh, write a beer review for Murray's Brewery Port Stephens Lager. And I got a reply back pretty quickly. And it said, AI, certainly Murray's Brewery Port Stephens Lager is a refreshing and crisp lager that is sure to please any beer lover. With its light and clean taste, this beer is perfect for a hot summer day or a relaxing, relaxing evening with friends. The aroma is subtle with hints of malt and hops that give way to delicate sweetness on the palate. The taste is well balanced with a gentle bitterness that is not overpowering and a smooth finish that lingers just long enough to make you want another sip. Overall, this lager is a great choice for anyone looking for a well-crafted and easy drinking beer. Whether you're a seasoned beer connoisseur or simply looking for something to enjoy with friends, Murray's Brewery Port Stevens Lager is definitely worth trying. Cheers! So that was the answer the AI gave back to me or ChatGPT. So, um, yep, yeah, hints of malt and hops that give way to a delicate sweetness on the palate. See, to me, that is just a generic thing like it hasn't actually said because it probably doesn't even know the, the actual taste like to me I was tasting floral and herb it didn't mention that but then again you could drink it and you would probably taste you could taste something different we're all got different taste buds so to me that's that's all right if you want a quick review on something and you don't really know what you're talking about you can just read that out and people will go fuck man this bastard knows what he's talking about but i guess it's sort of right there's delicate it was a delicate sweetness um yeah i guess it was well balanced a bit of i don't think so no business to me um so that's what the ai thought of the beer I don't know. I reckon it would have. These these things just search the internet and gather information, I guess, and then just put it all together. So it's, I don't know. AI is Google AI. You put in something in Google, it searches and finds shit. 
puts it up, same fucking thing. So anyway, that's what the AI thinks of that beer. Hope you're enjoying the videos that I'm making. I'm trying to mix it up, do things that are different. Um, so till next time, fucking send it.